Welcome back, folks, to another product spotlight with Douglas Mike from Shaving.com. Today, we're going to be looking at something really unique, really different. It's Meta Nectar, one of my personal favorites. It's come and gone through the years, and I'll let you know why in just a few. You'll be the life of the party. Hey folks, welcome back. And as I mentioned at the top of, the, of this show, uh, we'll be talking about Meta Nectar. But before we do, you can actually win. That's right. Win a puck of Meta Nectar and its matching aftershave simply by commenting below, liking the video, and subscribing if you don't already. So do so now. I'll give you a few seconds. Okay. Anyways, Meta Nectar. Sorry about that. I get excited about such things. This is one of my favorites. It's been... We've been doing it for years. It's probably... Uh, I'm very proud of this, what it all comes down to. It's when I was first just... Uh, delving into perfuming, the history of perfuming, and, you know, just ex experimenting with different uh, tricks throughout, from the ages, if you will. And Meta Nectar is based on a Middle Eastern attar, which is the world's, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the world's first perfumes that were ever created. Um, goes back about 5,000 years. Yeah, France, you heard right. Yeah, Germany, you heard right. The Middle East, attar. Uh, so I really, you know, it was trying to figure out how to make one, what one was, why I needed to make one. And I'll tell you what, right now, you need to make one. If you're into perfumes, you need to wear one as well. Historically, they're oil-based, not alcohol-based as my aftershave is. So, you know, I'm breaking some rules here, but I'm punk rock. And there's a plane flying through the sky. Per usual. Anyways, um, but what is Natar? And how dare I say it, maybe France when it came to perfuming. But it's true, the Middle East is, I mean, distillation as we know it comes out of the Middle East. Uh, making its way up to, I believe it was Spain first, in about 900 AD. And after that, yeah, after that, it finally made its way to France, 1300 AD. So, yeah, we're talking 5,000 years ago they were doing this, folks. Now, let me give you the, the immediate notes. The main notes in this are orange blossom, a rich honey, and vanilla. Now, that makes it sound a little foo-foo, but there's, all, there's other notes in there, too, as well giving you this blend, which is Pomerosa, Gurdjum Balsam, Patchouli, Bergamot, and you will detect the Bergamot, and Cedarwood. It's really, it's delicious stuff, but it's also very masculine too. Um, very, very masculine. I can definitely see this being worn in the spring, a hot summer night, listen to some Sade, Smooth Operator as you're dousing yourself in Meta Nectar. I'm telling you folks, this really is some magical stuff. Um, it's like if Indiana Jones had a smell track. What do you think is going on here? Since I met you, I've nearly been incinerated, drowned, shot at, and chopped into fish bait. We're caught in the middle of something sinister here. My guess is Dad found out more than he was looking for. And until I'm sure, I'm going to continue to do things the way I think they should be done. <laughs> You know what scene I'm talking about. It would be Meta Nectar. It would also be, you know, tying it in with like ancient aliens. You can picture them in there as well, dousing themselves in Meta Nectar. Uh, as I mentioned at the top of this, this has come and gone over the years. We've, you know, discontinued it or we've made it seasonal. It has such a cult following that I can never take it away forever. It's out now for the summer. So if you don't have this yet, you need it. You definitely need it. And I'm telling you right now, it's. One of the most unique scents we make, it's one of the most unique scents that you will find in your collection. It's true. Nothing compares to this. Nothing smells like this. It stands on its own, just like you. So thanks for tuning in, folks, to another product spotlight. I almost said Spock White, um, which would have been fitting, no? This is Double Smythe and PhoenixShaving.com. Until next week, adieu. I do.